Hey everyone, Opaque Flake here, welcoming you back to the year of Final Fantasy with Final Fantasy trees. Well, there's lack of trees here, because those were bushes. No, these are trees. The fuck am I talking about? Let's talk to this lady, which is apparently a cutscene. I don't know why the game scrolled the text so quick, but, uh, sorry? It just did. Four bald men want to be the four warriors of the light. So I decided what I want to be my party as of now. As you can tell, Refia is going to be a knight. And you already saw Luneth and Ingus. Ingus is going to be a bard. That's the bard class. He is a bard. I decided to leave... Yeah, I just... I decided to leave Refia and Luneth for their white magic. I might need to care a lot, you know, as I go around. Not so much the magic, but the other reason is... I kind of wanted to make... Ingus a Dark Knight. Because we did find... We did find him as a knight in general, so it'd be, you know, funny to make him a Dark Knight. Thing is... I'm running out of swords! So, and I want Luna to be... I need uh, I need something to heal when I'm going in dungeons. So there you go. Made Ark of Dragoon because I'm running out of swords. Check the shop. They sell, um... Daggers. They sell... This ain't gonna do shit. They sell spears. They sell shields. They sell axes. I don't want a Viking. Vikings are tanks. I don't need tanks. I freaking have Rifia. She's a tank already. Also, the job level classes might help me out when we're fighting the new enemies around here. I haven't really checked them out, but I assume they're going to be really tough, which is why I'm going to buy some stuff. Not a lot of stuff, actually. Forgot to check out the whole town. Normally, I don't like doing a playtest or practice run, because especially on a blind game. And I didn't do it, but what I did do was check the jobs at the very least in the descriptions. Uh, let's see. Dark Knights essentially attack. I'm just showing you the items. I'm not going to buy anything right now. Dark Knights essentially have an advance attack like that of the uh, warrior class except you know they sacrifice HP to do more damage that's based on what I read dragoons they jump bards they do the singing based on the harp I want to buy the harp right now but I'm not going to thing is uh, I might find some items around here they mentioned sewers so unless I doubt it's a dungeon but if it is you know, I'm gonna go back and buy stuff anyway, so, yeah. Maybe he was just being lazy. I'll check the other mogs later on. Well, the other Mognet letters I get. I already did that, buddy. So, so far I'm finding nothing around here. There's gotta be something in that grass patch, but... Yeah, the gates. So far I have not seen any magic shop, though. Maybe it's up there. Maybe it's in the sewers. The dude in the sewers who sells the magic shoes, maybe he or she also sells magic. I can only assume. Which I'm assuming it's one of these arc areas. Or arch... Arch water, you know, flow areas. That's usually... Uh, sewers are connected and whatnot. I am literally finding nothing in this place.
Honestly, I thought you'd just give us the key, but it makes sense being, I, I assume, the village elder to open it yourself. Like, I ain't gonna give him the key! He just caused a ruckus. Ah, okay. They're not all gonna be guy shell greens, right? Right? That was the last one. Yep, looks like, yeah. Oh well. False waterfall, maybe? I assume that's a sewer entrance. There's another arch, though. And so far, no false wall. Or secret wall. Whatever you want to call it. Nothing in the water? Oh, hey. Black garb. And anything else? Maybe. Possibly. Don't blue ball me, game. I guess that's it. But there might be other stuff on the top, right? I'm not a huge fan of Dragoons, to be honest. I want to bring this up. I always found them to be... I know there's a huge... I don't want to say huge fan base, but there is a fan base. Or respect for the Dragoon class, but I've never really found them all that interesting to begin with. I never found their jump ability useful. I mean, don't get me wrong, they have their uses. Especially if you want to dodge damage and play with the default, it helped a lot, especially if you combined it with the timing. But, you know, that's job classes, you know, balancing stuff out and whatnot. What I didn't like about them is that it took them a whole turn to attack just to do double damage. So this is a dungeon. It went out, got me my equipment, and before I go on with the Dragoons, no one could wear the uh, black gi or whatever it was called, the black cow, I think. The thief gloves or anything like that. No one could wear any of the armor I could buy in the stores. And that struck me as curious. Twin Liker. So all I did was buy two Thunder Spears. And I forgot to equip your item, but luckily this doesn't waste my turn. Oh, you can use daggers, apparently. And the harp counts as two-handed. Makes sense. So let's see what the harp does. Oh, protect! That's gonna be useful. So I bought the harp and the two thunder daggers, and that's it. Now that that's been established, let's go back to my bashing of dragoons. It's funny how Protect is gonna cover them in piss, like, oh fuck, they're covered in piss, I don't wanna attack that shit, disgusting! Alright, so yeah, the Dragoon thing. They jump, and they do double damage, he could've done that in one turn. Even probably get a critical within those two turns. But my argument is like that of a half glass, half empty thing. And by that I mean... You can have one item that swings once and does 1,000 damage, or an item that can swing twice in the same amount of time and does 500 damage. The only difference would be criticals. But, that one-handed item has a 50% chance of criticals, while the one-handed one has a 20% chance of criticals. Not 25, just 20. So, you know, it's all down to chance. Another reason why I'm not- are those dead rats? Or rocks with, like, worms. Can't tell. But yeah, another thing is the, um, the jump. It gives your enemy one less enemy to attack, which makes your other allies vulnerable. So if there's a boss that can really fuck up your squishies, that's, you know, sure the Dragoon ain't gonna take any damage, but that means there's a 33% chance of another enemy getting hit, not once, but twice, because bosses hit more than once here. I know they have their benefits, but they also have their, you know, defunks. Ooh, damn, she has a lot of level 1 casts. Okay, yeah, good idea to make her knight. I wasn't really paying attention to that. 
I mean, you can make many arguments on anything in general on why this party is the best party to begin with, but that's just my case with the Dragoon. I just don't really like them that much. But I'm not saying they're bad. I just really don't find a personal perspective on them being fruitful to my party formation. So far, I've been fighting nothing but Twin Ligers, though. So, this is the Twin Liger dungeon. Cat Claws. Okay, this game really wants me to have a monk. Check this out. They gave me... Well, I don't think you're... What? Okay, so they gave me some stuff for a monk. You know, thief gloves, I assume they can wear it. Like, the thief gloves, I assume they can wear it. The black cow, or garb. Again, I forgot what they were called, or the black G. And all that other fun stuff. The thing is, they don't really need the claws because they have a high job level. You know, their fists, their bare handed fish should do enough damage. But it's kind of like a trap. Like this, I guess. We must aid them, yet you nod yourself in your head in disgust. Well, at least we got new enemies, and I can actually display the jump. I'm actually curious myself to see how well it does. I'm really liking the bard, though. It seems his protect uh, spell is going to be 100% all the time, so... I'm wondering what the other harps are going to give me, because I can, you know, swap them without being penalized. And that was an accident, but oh well. Unfortunately, they don't stack. That'd be great. Okay. Either they're weak against Thunder, or... That's actually, you know, the two lances really did help. If that's the case, and I'm gonna eat my words. My own words here, man, and I'm gonna be like, Yep, I was wrong. They actually kick ass, but I'm gonna go with the benefit of the doubt that they... Are we against Thunder? Well, that's actually another benefit. The heal's a little bit stronger when, you know, they're gone. So it's inversive. But Protect wears off quick! I guess that makes the singing useful. Did I have you target the other toad? The fuck? Oh, whatever. Is there a purpose to this? Yeah, man, those holds had to be weak against Thunder. There's no way in hell he could be doing that much damage. What ambience? It's a fucking sewer, man. I guess old men are into sewers. That's fake. Or another room. Sure, why not? I'm convinced that this game wants you to have a... Uh, what's the word? It doesn't always want you to switch jobs, so... You know, it has some stuff lying out for you if you want to use them. At least that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, those are definitely dead rats. Forgot you can zoom in here, but... That's a dead rat. The hell? I hope it's not my graphics and that's how they look like. 
Stroper. A Saint Roper, if you will. If that's the case, they must hit harder. So, no, I need them dead right away. Let me uh, check something real quick. 32 compared to 45. So it could be damage, but I'm really suspecting that enemies are weak against Thunder here. Which makes sense. I mean, the last dungeon, they were weak against Fire and Thunder. But then, yeah, that was the Water Temple. Kaiser Knuckles. That's a common enemy. Well, not enemy, but uh, name in Final Fantasy. So, Ingus is gonna be like, I guess the Geo- not the Geomancer. He has a high- oh no, Refus has the highest attack. Well, you're gonna be tanking, so might as well give it to her. So this is what I'm thinking, Ingus, I can swap him daggers and attack with the harps. If I really need him to attack, thing is, I'd rather keep him in the back row. Cause in the back row, he's more safe. Then he is in the front row cause he's a little squishy bard. Although if I keep him in the front row, I wouldn't have to swap him just the items and waste a turn. Dark legs. That's a pretty cool looking spider design though. So are those rat bones? I mean, they have to be. They kind of look like chicken bones, but... You know... What, what the fuck would a chicken... Well, you know, a chicken could be down here. Assuming... This village had chickens to begin with, and they wandered down here and they died and all that fun stuff. Huh. Deep sewers. Running out of potions. It's a good thing they're cheap. Max them out. Cost you about 3k. I am convinced there is something else down there. 
But with the fear of leveling, I don't want to check. But I want to check. I mean, wouldn't Delilah be the one who sells you magic? That's the only reason I didn't choose Evoker, because Evoker is essentially a summoner. They don't have any summon magic. Unless it's a random summon, like... Or... Like recall, the recall ability from Tella. But I doubt that's it. What the cha? I wanna check, I wanna check. Ah, fuck it. Well, if you recall, this one dude, I forgot his name. The one guy who can repel magic. He locked up our boat. And we gotta beat his ass. But dude is fearful of the... Uh, well, people stealing his shit. But I'm gonna go to the Temple of Water to get a free heal. Alright. What am I fighting? Helguru and the Black Thalan. I think there we could get Thunder. Let's find out. No fucking way! That's the first time I've ever seen a Flan do a bad breath attack. This might be the only game where Flans can do a bad breath attack. Oh yeah, Lunath has been a lot more useful here. Okay, what the fuck? Um... Vulcan. Yeah, Lunath hits a lot harder out here, because I assume they were res one of the enemies were resilient down there to one of his blades. So are you like the Ice Salamander or Fire Salamander? I'll find out. I don't want to use Sight though. Fuck it, it might be useful. I doubt it's going to be tough, but if it is anything, you don't have Sight. If it's anything like the enemy we fought, or the boss we fought, I might have to run away. Well, that's actually an option. I can run away. I could be wrong, but it looks like a bard will always go first. Okay, you're exactly the same boss we fought. You're a salamander, Greek color. We're actually fighting another boss. This is actually... Oh, that's really soon. I didn't... kind of wanted to save these, but kind of forced here. They had... This boss had like 4.5k HP or something. You know what? Let's not puss out. I do need to heal though. I don't think Protect's actually helping out. He's hitting as hard as he did when we first fought him. I'm wondering if that was a dragon type. Because I know Dragoons have like a native ability to do extra damage to dragoons, I mean dragoons. They have an innate ability to do extra damage to dragons. Hope I'm going the right way. I forgot to check where we're fighting, but whatever. I doubt they're gonna die. I didn't waste the potion, though. Speaking of which, I gotta go back to the store and buy more potions. And these guys are really weak against ice. Oh sweet, I thought I fucked up or something. Chocobos, huh? This will prove to be useful. You know what, I'm gonna go restock. Wonder if I can use a chocobo to cross this without the lava grass shoes. I'm gonna assume it implies I have the lava grass shoes on me. Yeah. I know chocobos are overpowered, but not that overpowered. In terms of you know being useful. Oh wow, it worked! 
Oh, do I have to go buy magic keys? Oh, is this gonna be one whole magic key dungeon? But I can't leave without... Wait, what? I don't have my ship, so I can't go back. Maybe I'm supposed to beat something here. And I do have a fear, because I haven't saved yet. That I'm gonna fight something. I wonder if there are any enemies in here, though. That would suck if the game was like, if you don't bring enough magic keys because this dungeon is gonna go into a ruin after you complete it, then you're fucked. Alright, where are we fighting here? Gold Bear! Because why not? So, the dude reflects magic, so. Luna is gonna be straight up healing here. I know he can't reflect items. It's not really considered magic. Yeah, they're not that tough. And back on that dungeon thing. I think that's kind of cool. It encourages a replay through, but for those who originally played through, they'd be like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Why did I even check? Well, maybe they could have been called Gold Bird or Gold Hawk. I could be entirely wrong, but maybe everything's weak against Thunder here. I doubt the Serpent Sword's gonna help that much, but we'll see. Alright, let me guess. Gold Berserker. Fuck you! <laughs> Whatever. Let's see if the Thunder Sword will help out. Yeah, it's about the same. I mean, they could have a different defense value, but... It's still a lower attack based on weakness. Yeah, Dragoon was a good call. Well, I don't want to make this part longer than it should be, so with that said, thank you for watching this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3, part of the year Final Fantasy with me, Opaque Flake. Kate, thanks, bye.